We both felt strongly that our kids should be well involved in sports or activities of their own choosing. I just absolutely love golf. I mean, I'm at school and I'm thinking about it, I'm like, what did I do on the last golf round and how can I do better on the next one? We were on a family outing in Christmas in San Diego in 2013 with my folks. We were all golfing. I finally said something to my mom and said, you know, listen to Emily laugh and hear how it's affecting her. Something's wrong. She wasn't very uh, outspoken about any of her symptoms. She would never talk about um, that she was suffering. The pain didn't really faze me because I thought it was just something that everybody else had because walking on the hills, I'm like, oh, I must be out of shape or something. When I was in Maryland in July for the AJJ, it was terrible because the hills are like up here and then you're down here and you had to walk all the way up. Emily came up on the 10th hole crying in tears and saying, Mom, I can't go on any further. It's an immune problem with the lungs and that the lungs naturally secrete a protein coat. The lungs can no longer clean out that excess protein. So the protein builds up and, and literally uh, you're, you're drowning in your own protein in your lungs. This is your windpipe. You have like that much space to breathe and get all the air in and out and then the oxygen transfer isn't enough so your legs burn. Breathing, oxygen is your energy source so when you don't have oxygen uh, you're not producing the energy and it starts shutting down all the uh, the organs in the body. I'm still capable of doing everything just with some minor deficits but I'm still very willing and passionate to do everything everybody else is doing. So it's very important to maintain your life's activities as best as you can and not let this disease take over for you. Even though we have a lot of stress and a lot of schoolwork, I feel that her dedication to golf and her dedication to schoolwork is equally the same. Just her academics alone would be, would be a lot for one student. Just her golf alone would be a, a huge amount for one student, let alone to be dealing with her illness on top of it. It's just amazing to me how much she's been able to accomplish. She's one of a kind. She's always looking to be fantastic and outstanding and amazing and I can understand why she wouldn't want that to affect her. She wouldn't want everyone to see her like that. She wants everyone to see her for her, not just because she has a disease. She does not like sympathy at all. She just wants people to not look at her differently. I think that she is this way because of her parents and what they have instilled in her and that, hey, we're gonna figure out a way to get through this as a family. You know, we don't need to feel sorry for ourselves. We're gonna get through this. When it came time to go to Colorado and qualify for the USGA, we thought it best that Emily have a caddy given her condition and we weren't sure how the altitude would affect her and I proposed to Emily that she asked Steve. When I first caddied for Emily at the regional qualifier here, um, I think the thing I most uh, wanted to emphasize with her was how lucky we are. Uh, she, even though she has a disease, that she's still out here playing golf, fulfilling her life's dreams and, and to keep that positive aspect. It's very inspiring to me that he's been able to go on through his life and live normally and it's just, I aspire to be that. December of 2014, we were told that she would start an experimental medication. We were told that if it worked at all, we might see the effects of it in four years. The reality is, is that we saw a tremendous benefit from the medicine in four months. Something is entirely unexpected. To see them get over the disease or deal with the disease successfully, it, it brings a real warmth to my heart. And, and I had some tears in my eyes watching Emily play golf just because I was so happy for her and that she's responded so well.